Imagine trading Eric Carlson and still paying Marion Gabrick, Michael Bodker, and Bobby Ryan a combined $16.125 million next season. The Eric Carlson saga is now over. Eric Carlson has been traded to the San Jose Sharks. That just sounds so weird. So this morning at about 10.30, Darren Dreger broke hockey Twitter. He sent a tweet out that says, sounds like San Jose is making a huge push to land Eric Carlson. And for about an hour, I was refreshing Twitter nonstop. Everyone was. And a little over an hour later, it became official. The Senators trade Eric Carlson and Francis Perron to the San Jose Sharks for a first in 2019 or 2020. Chris Tierney, a second round pick in 2019, prospect Josh Norris, Rudolph Balsiers, and, and Dylan Demlo. There's also two conditions on this pick, which are actually pretty interesting. I'll talk about the conditions after we break it down in franchise mode. So let's go ahead and break this one down in NHL 19 franchise mode using the trade simulation. Now I had to create Josh Norris because EA does not have the rights to the NCAA. He's playing in the University of Michigan, so I gave him medium top 9, 62 overall. Felt like that was pretty fair. Also, Dylan Demlo there and you I can actually see that there's not enough space in the trade block for me to make all this go through so in order to do so I just left the conditional picks because there's still conditional picks we haven't even talked about yet and I haven't even put the second round pick in there for this year either so there's lots more in this trade so let's just see if it'll go through with this they say absolutely not so let's say I take out Rudolph Balsiers and then I go ahead and throw in the second round pick which is worth more than him, of course they still say no. Now if we go from the other side, sending it to San Jose without the second round pick, they're going to say absolutely, are you kidding me? This is a really good deal for us in San Jose. So we are going to be saying yes to this one. I hope you know what you're doing. Well, San Jose, Pierre Dorian does not know what he's doing. The fact that I couldn't even put everything into the trade screen, I tried to put the best items I could, it still wouldn't go through. This is a terrible trade. Now I'm not gonna sit here and I'm not gonna bash Ottawa the entire time because in the grand scheme of things, they were never going to win this trade. They're trading Eric Carlson. There's no way you can win in that situation. So looking at the positives here, they get a pretty good prospect in Josh Norris. I don't know too much about Rudolph Balsiers as well as Dylan DeMello. Dylan DeMello looks like a depth defenseman, which is fine. Chris Tierney's pretty decent, but the two conditional picks are actually pretty decent. Conditions on those picks are as follows. Should San Jose sign Carlson to a contract extension, Ottawa receives San Jose's second round pick in 2021, which would upgrade to a first round selection, not lottery protected because Ottawa, if San Jose reaches the Stanley Cup final in 2019, which they very well could. And the other conditional pick is if Carlson is on an Eastern Conference roster, so if they somehow flip Eric Carlson, which I don't think they do, the Senators will receive an additional first round pick from the San Jose Sharks no later than 2022. So some really, really interesting conditions there. So Ottawa did get some pieces back. Was it enough for Eric Carlson? No, not even close. There's people saying this could be one of the worst trades of all time. Now that's not taking anything away from Josh Norris. He's a pretty decent prospect. I'd say Chris Tierney's good. I'm not so sure about Dylan DeMello and Rudolph Balsiers, but Josh Norris is the best piece going back to Ottawa aside from the picks. That's just mind boggling to me. Another thing that absolutely blew my mind, I sent a tweet out, imagine trading Eric Carlson and still paying Marion Gabrick, Michael Bodker, and Bobby Ryan a combined 16.125 million next season. How do you not offload those contracts? If I'm Pierre Dorian, I'm not trading Eric Carlson without someone taking on one of those three contracts. You're getting Eric freaking Carlson. You look at Carlson's career stats and achievements since coming into the league with Ottawa. So he had 627 games played, 126 goals, 392 assists, and 518 points. That's top notch. Obviously, one of the best defensemen on planet Earth. 48 postseason games, 37 points, 
two-time Norris Trophy winner, four-time first team ballot all-star and three all-star games. Now I think Carlson has handled this incredibly. If you look at his interviews afterwards, he had nothing but good things to say about Ottawa. He was saying he's gonna still live in Ottawa. That's his home, he's gonna stay there. His family loves it there, he loves Ottawa. I just think it was a really messy situation and with whatever's going on with management, there was no way training camp could start with Eric Carlson. Look at this defensive core, Brent Burns, and Eric Carlson? Are you serious? That's stuff you see in All-Star games. I mean, that power play with Logan Couture and Joe Pavelski, I mean, even if you want to play him with Mark Edward Vlasic, you think Eric Carlson put up good numbers with guys like Mark Mathot? Imagine this guy playing with Brent Burns or even an upgrade like Mark Edward Vlasic. Mark Edward Vlasic is a top 10 defenseman in the NHL. And in more Ottawa type news, according to multiple sources, news are not good recording Jean-Gabriel Pajot today could be out from four to six months. Oh my god. A surgery to repair an Achilles tendon. It's actually kind of ironic slash kind of weird how it all worked out that he's going to be hurt with an Achilles tendon and that was Eric Carlson's main injury with Ottawa. Not really any story to that, I just think it's kind of weird. Now usually I give a clear winner and a loser in the trade and with this trade there is no questions. It couldn't be more clear. The San Jose Sharks win this trade 8 days a week, 400 days a year, non-stop, all day, every day, 25 hours a day. They crushed this deal. They got one of the best defensemen the NHL has ever seen in his prime and they're going to put him with a guy like Brent Burns and a power play with Joe Pavelski and Logan Couture and a Vander Kane. I just can't wait to see how this is all going to mesh. I can't wait to see the point totals Eric Carlson is going to put up. Now if you're an Ottawa fan, I would like to apologize. I'm so sorry you have to deal with all this. It's not fun seeing a superstar leave. The face of your franchise, gone. With that defensive core with Eric Carlson gone, that's one of the weakest in the NHL, if not the weakest. I'd even say Vancouver has a better defensive core, and that's saying something. If I'm Eric Carlson, I'm pumped. You get to live in beautiful San Jose, California. You get to play for the Sharks on a team with Brent Burns, full of talent. How can you not be excited? Obviously, I'm pumped to see what he's going to do with the San Jose Sharks. I'm a fan of hockey, but as a Canucks fan, it scares the hell out of me. I go to a lot of Canucks games, and I know Eric Carlson is going to fill the back of the net against the Canucks. So I'd like to get your guys' opinion, even though I'm 99% sure it's going to be the exact same as mine. San Jose wins this trade. If you think Ottawa wins this trade, I would love to hear it in the comments. They got some okay pieces. The picks are nice. Josh Norris is good. Chris Tierney is a good roster player but this is Eric Carlson you're giving up. But again, I said it at the beginning, the Ottawa Senators were never going to win a trade like this because, well, they're trading Eric Carlson. It's interesting to see all the stars leave and not want to play in Ottawa from Jason Spezza, from Danny Heatley, Alexi Yashin, Zdeno Chara. It's just... I really hope the Senators can get back on track. Thanks for watching. Let me know your comments on the deal. I'm excited to read them, and I'll talk to you guys when the next trade happens.